In this video, I'll show you how to create the best TWS option trading layout if you're looking to be the most efficient as possible. So as usual, I'll link all the best tools for day trading in the description. So if you're looking for a broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, don't forget to check that out and let's get started. First thing you're gonna go do is go over here and click option chain. And now you're gonna have your option chain. And this is gonna be important because this video is gonna be about option. So when you have this open, we're gonna go over what you need to know and also how to set it up to make it the most efficient as possible. So when you have this open, you can see over here that the date is over here for which expiration that you're looking for. So the shorter expiration is normally going to be trading at a less expensive price because there's less chances that it expires in the money or it gets in the money. And if you go further, you know, you can look at all the option and all that stuff. But most likely when people are trading option, they're going to look at the shortest expiration date because there's the most open interest and there's also the most volume. And talking about volume and open interest, if you don't see these columns, what you can do is just go over here and say resize column or insert column and you can go find the one you want in this one. And when this is done and you selected the open interest, the volume, the bid and the ask and also the delta, what you can do is go over here, right click on the top and say configure layout. And then you can just decide, you know, in which order do you want to see um, any of these columns because it's going to depend on how you want to see your option chain. For me, the way it's set up there, I feel like it's the best option and it's going to be the easiest way for me to see the price, the bid and the ask and also the volume and then the open interest. To continue the description of the option chain and make sure that you know how or where to find the information, something else that's important is the IV percentage of these option is just over here. So the higher the implied volatility is, the more expensive the option is because it already calculated the expected move. So there's less money to be made buying option, but it's a better time to sell it. So the higher this number is, the more expensive you pay for the option, but also it depends. If you're just trading it, it won't matter much because your time frame is going to be so short. If you want to see more strike, I currently have set it up at all strike, but you can go and just set like a 10. So there's less option or something like, you know, a 12 or 15. You can just do over here and then you're going to have less strike. Normally people tend to have the less strike because they trade the one that's in the money. And to know which one is in the money, you can see over here that you can just go over and it's going to tell you what kind of standard deviation you are. So 0 0.1 standard deviation and also 0 0.3, but you can also see by the color, the fact that the change is over here or this one and this one saying that this one is a different color and this one is a different color, is going to tell you that which one is the actual in the money option. So these are going to be this one. Right now the price is about 980. So anywhere between these two would be considered in the money. And something that's important when you're trading option, always look at the volume because normally if there's a good amount of volume, your spread between the bid and the ask is going to be less. And you can see over here that it's pretty tight compared to if we move lower, it's going to be much wider. And we can see over here, or over here, it's going to be much wider because there's less volume traded. Another information that's important to know when you're looking at option is the open interest. The open interest means how many people sold this option. And these are normally going to be market maker on both sides. Um, they're going to be selling the option and sometimes buying the stock or doing some funny stuff. Because every time you buy an option, you need someone to sell you the option. So that means there's also a lot of people that bought these out of the money option. By the way, at any point during this video, don't forget to check out the links in the description. I did link all the best tools for day trading and investing. So let's get back to the video. All right. So now we're going to continue to building the layout. So the next thing you're going to do is go in, in the window and then you're going to be looking for a chart and you're going to just add a chart over here and then you can look at the option or you can look at the ticker. Right now, what we're going to be doing is just click the ticker. So it's going to be easier like this to, you know, see what's the price, what's the option and all that stuff. And when this is set up, the next thing you're going to do is go over here into new and order entry. This is going to be pretty important because you want to make sure that you have an order entry for position that you want to put in. And this is a good way. So you can click on this and it's going to tell you what contract, how many contracts. So you can just click, scroll and change the price. You can select a market or a limit. And then if you want to buy or sell, it's going to be like that. Something else that you might have realized is there's only a sell button is because I chose the bid. But if I go and choose the ask, 
it's going to show me that I can buy at that price. You can also have a different one. So if you don't like this specific one, you can click settings and then you can click something like simplified and click applied. And now you have something different. I'm going to click OK. And now you have the buy, the sell, and you can do whatever you want or what you prefer. And it's going to be all set up like this. The next thing you're going to do is go over here and you're going to go enter your portfolio. When this is open, uh, you can see in this one, I have financial instrument, position, position average price, unrealized, and also realized PL. So these are the column that I think are just the best one to have. You can make it a little smaller. Um, this is an account I don't personally use. It's a TFSC account, but I never used it. So this is what it is. And after that, you can have your order window just under your PL. And the next thing you want to be doing is go back into the new window. And when this is done, the next thing you're going to do is go over here and go into order management and click order. And now what you're going to have over here is an order. Something that's important is to really select these columns. So you're going to have an account, financial instrument, details, action, type, quantity, limit price, and also your stop price. This is the best thing I found. And something that's really important that you do is instead of going to all go into your live order. So you're going to only see the one that are actually live and could be executed. Otherwise, you're going to see the one you canceled and all that stuff. So it gets really messy. All right. So continuing with that layout, the next thing you're going to do is go over here into new and market depth. I currently don't have information um, on my level two. The reason why is I use Sterling when it comes to level two but TWS for anything else that would be related to my personal account or stuff like that. So then you're going to go back into new window and also you're going to look for time and sell. That's going to be over here. So you can click on the first one. That's going to be totally fine. And then you're going to have everything over here like this. And then what you can do is go into setting. So when you're on this page over here, what you can do is just go into uh, remove the exchange and condition that's going to be better. And then also what you can do is put the last slash midpoint. We can move it up uh, last size and also have the time at the bottom and just put enter. And now it's also much better. So now we can see that everything is set up. We can save it. And when you're looking at an option or anything like that, you can just click on it and everything is going to load for your order execution. And it's going to be a really good layout to go with. There's different things that you can do. Some people also like to have a watch list because they trade sometimes the same stock over and over. So you can have a watch list. And over here, you can probably just put it right beside like this. And then you can have, you know, a different type of name. So you can have this one. You can also have this one. So when you're scrolling through names, it's going to be a bit easier. If you want to add like anything to these columns, just go always settings. And then you can add over here maybe volume. So when this is selected, I double clicked it. I removed maybe the change dollar and OK. And now it's set up pretty nicely. So this is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next one.